Yusan or Jade Mountain is the highest summit in Northeast Asia. The main peak is 3,952 meters. There's a long waiting list for climbing permits and beds at the mountain huts near the peak. In the first of a new series from Yusan, we take you to the highest weather station in the region, which the Japanese built on the North Peak in 1943. Two thirds of Taiwan is high mountain range. The weather here is changeable and unpredictable, especially on peaks over 3,000 meters tall. Monitoring the weather up here is not easy, but by chance the weather stations on Mount Ali or Ali San and Jade Mountain or Yu San are at the same latitude, making it possible to link them together. After they built Ali San Weather Station, the Japanese set up Yu San Weather Station in 1943 on the north peak of the mountain. Separated in altitude by 1,400 meters, the two stations are both at a latitude of 23.5 degrees. The Japanese discovered Taiwan was mountainous, so they decided to set up stations in Jiayi, Ali Shan, and Yu Shan, from the plains to the mid level to high altitude, to get a cross section of the atmosphere. The three points are joined because they are at the same latitude, so they are on a horizontal plane at different altitudes and can detect wind speed change and shift. On the border between Jiayi and Nantou counties, Yusan is the highest mountain in Northeast Asia. The hike from Ta Ta Jia into Yusan National Park is 12 kilometers long, up a winding path that climbs to almost 4,000 meters. You have to scale Yusan's main peak and then climb to the North Peak to reach the highest weather station in Northeast Asia. When the Japanese built this station, deep down there were military motives. For airplanes flying from west to east, they can use the westerlies, and especially the westbound jet stream. They can cut a lot of flight time and save a lot of fuel. As air moves, it's influenced by the rotation of the Earth, creating the Coriolis effect that tends to make air moving from north to south flow to the west. The Coriolis effect is seen in large weather systems. In latitudes between the equator and 30 degrees, the prevailing winds blow from the east, while between 30 and 60 degrees, there are westerly winds. The so-called Coriolis effect is seen in the northern hemisphere, where wind direction is shifted to the right by the Earth's rotation, and to the left in the southern hemisphere. The westerlies that blow between the latitude of 30 to 60 degrees are very strong at an altitude of 7,000 to 10,000 meters, where wind speed can exceed 100 kilometers per hour. This is what's called the jet stream. The strength and position of the westerly wind changes with the seasons. The wind speed is faster in the winter than summer. Although military role is now redundant, the Yusan station is still important for monitoring and forecasting the weather. Meteorologist Huang Chen Jian closely observes the climate from his lofty outpost. In the afternoon, when the weather changes here, the water evaporated by the sun in the valleys on both sides brings the air up. But on the east face, the air is more humid, so before it reaches the crest, it is already turned into mist. In an age when information is at our fingertips, it is sobering to realize that weather data does not come easily. As well as braving scorching heat and freezing cold, meteorologists put their lives at risk on treacherous mountain paths to give us the latest weather report.